Hello everyone, uh, this game was played in 2001, it was the first round of the United States Open and uh, Hikaru Nakamura who was uh, 14 years old at the time so he didn't have his Grandmaster title yet uh, is playing against uh, John W. Lloyd and Mr. Lloyd had a rating of around 1900 so it was uh, quite, a, quite a difference in strength uh, but it's, uh, it's amazing how this game uh, shows uh, how easy uh, it is to win when you, when you play chess really well and uh, well, Nakamura really show uh, really makes chess look simple in this game. So let's see this game. Nakamura is white and uh, Mr. Lloyd is black. Uh, we have e4 and d5, uh, the Scandinavian defense. And Nakamura goes for knight to c3, inviting black to push d4. So he does, he pushes d4, we have knight c2 e2, uh, e5, defending the d4 pawn, and Nakamura plays a knight to g3. Uh, knight to f6, and now knight to f3, attacking that uh, e5 pawn. Uh, Lloyd defends with bishop to d6, and we have bishop to c4. Uh, we have castles, castles, and now bishop to g4. And okay, Nakamura plays h3. Uh, he wants to see what uh, what black's plans are with the bishop. So, oh, capturing the capturing the knight isn't really doing anything for black, so he plays uh, bishop to h5. <clears throat> and this allows Nakamura uh, a simple tactic. Uh, he plays a knight captures on h5, knight captures on h5, and here he plays a knight captures on d4. Uh, so winning a pawn here, as this opens up uh, the attack from the queen on d1 to this knight on h5. And, uh, <clears throat> well, black doesn't want to give up the pawn for free, so at least he plays knight to g3, you now doubling uh, Nakamura's pawns. Uh, Nakamura plays f captures on g3, and we have e captures on d4. And now d3. And okay, we can see that uh, Nakamura's queen is ready to jump to h5, g4, wherever is necessary, and also he's uh, attacking this f7 square already, uh, with his rook and the bishop on c4. Uh, so, Mr. Lloyd captures this pawn on uh, g3, so uh, bishop captures on g3, recovering the pawn, and we have rook captures on f7 by Nakamura. And uh, okay, uh, the idea is behind this move is that uh, this bishop is now on g3, so after the exchange on f7, uh, Nakamura will have queen to f3 check and picking up the bishop on g3. So rook captures on f7, bishop captures on f7, and now not capturing the bishop. Uh, Mr. Lloyd doesn't want to allow queen to f3 check, he plays uh, king to h8. And here we have queen to g4, uh, developing the queen and also attacking the bishop on g3. Uh, bishop to e5, and now bishop to g5 with an attack on the queen. And okay, Mr. Lloyd goes for bishop to f6, and Nakamura captures it. Bishop captures on f6. And, <clears throat> well, Mr. Lloyd can't really capture this bishop with the queen. Uh, for example, b uh, queen captures on f6, because uh, he would run into queen to c8 check. And uh, there are no more moves. Uh, only move is queen to d8, and the queen captures on d8 is checkmate. So after bishop captures on f6, Mr. Lloyd played g captures on f6, and here we have rook to f1. Uh, again, with a very simple threat of rook captures on f6, the queen will not be able to capture back as queen to g8 will be checkmate. So uh, he defends this knight to d7, and uh, here again Nakamura plays the strongest move, he plays bishop to e6. <clears throat> now with a double attack on this knight on d7. And uh, well, the knight can't really go to f8, uh, as this will again be queen to d8 checkmate. And the uh, best move here was knight to e5. Uh, but here, after knight to e5, queen h4 with a double attack on this pawn here, it's not clear how black would defend this. Uh, so after bishop to e6, Mr. Lloyd played knight to c5. And here Nakamura instantly uh, plays bishop to f5. And uh, this is with a threat of uh, bishop captures on h7, and after king captures, rook to, rook to f5 with a checkmate on h5. Again, a very simple threat. So queen to, F, uh, queen to e7, uh, Mr. Lloyd defends this, and uh, Nakamura nevertheless plays a bishop captures on h7. So now we have queen captures on h7 and rook to f5. And now attacking this knight on c5, uh, but also threatening rook to h5 and uh, winning the queen. So we have rook to g8, uh, now attacking Nakamura's queen, and queen to f3. Uh, again, the threat is uh, capturing the knight and also rook to h5. So, the only move that really stops this is uh, rook to g5, which is played, and Nakamura plays uh, rook captures on g5, f captures on g5, and the queen to f8 check, and now we see why this knight is really misplaced here on c5. So, queen to g8, and now queen captures on c5. 
And as you can see, Mr. Lloyd has uh, 5 pawns, Nakamura has 7 pawns. And while well, capturing the spawn on a2 doesn't really achieve anything, as queen captures on d4 would check defense b2, uh, doesn't really win a pawn. So Mr. Lloyd tries queen to g7, uh, defending the pawn, but this loses the a7 pawn. Uh, we have b6, so the queen would be protecting c7. Uh, queen to a8 check, king to h7. And now queen to c8, and Mr. Lloyd plays uh, queen to e5, and now queen to f5 check. And in this position, Mr. Lloyd uh, resigned the game as after queen captures, pawn captures. Uh, well, there's really nothing for black to play here after king to g7, king f2, after the king goes here, simply g4, and uh, well, uh, Nakamura simply has too many pawns. So, yeah, after this. Uh, after this uh, queen to f5 check, uh, Mr. Lloyd resigned, and well, it's a, a very simple game, but, but a beautiful game. So yeah, uh, I hope you all had a great Sunday, I hope you enjoyed this game. Uh, I would like to thank Mr. Uh, Harmut Nebe for your contribution to my channel. Uh, thank you, sir, I appreciate it, and uh, yeah, that's it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.